Hello guys, today's video we are gonna talk about how you can get a really good sound on your streams also get a really good quality on your streams we're gonna use OBS Studio for this I think you can use Streamlabs also I'm not 100% sure with how it does work but I think it's quite similar so let's go to the video and get a good stream Before we even start with OBS, uh, if you have some lag problems in OBS or drop frames maybe, go to your dashboard icon, right click on it, properties, compatibility, and then run this program as an admin. I have this on Swedish, sorry. Click on that and verify OK. It's going to help hopefully if you have a low spec PC maybe, uh, something to think about. So if you have some lag, FPS drops, maybe that can help. Before we go into OBS stuff, you can do one thing before, and that's actually the audio volume. We can check that. I have Windows 11, so it's a bit different. So if you have Windows 10, it's going to be a bit different. So go to the audio icon, right click on it, sound settings, scroll down a bit, find volume on your microphone input, and this is going to be on 100. If you have this on 50 or lower than 100, put it up on 100. Just a recommendation. So when we are in the OBS, we want to go find settings, find audio, and like that. When we are here, simple rate should be 48 kilohertz and on stereo. And desktop audio is your headset audio. Desktop audio 2 is if you have a different audio source also, but usually a lot of people don't have that. So you can skip it. And then your microphone, it's your microphone. So rest of this, you don't need to go. So it's apply and okay. When we're done with that, find your audio mixer on your, in your middle down, where you're moving when you're talking. Have three dots in here, right click on it and go to filters. When we have filters here, we want to add some filters and that you do with a plus icon down here and you can choose whatever you want. We're going to start with noise suppression, R and noise, good quality, more CPU usage, and recommend. The next one is noise gate, and uh, I'm going to just take it really fast. You can pause the video uh, if you go fast, uh, too fast for you. Uh, close threshold is minus 35, open threshold is minus 30, and then 25, 200, 150. Uh, this one is a bit personal, so it depends on your environment mostly and how you have your voice. Do you have microphone far away, closer to you and stuff like that. So tweak with it, very individual. So you can copy my settings and then tweak off of them and see if it'd be better. After that, we go to compressor. And then it's ratio 4, threshold minus 30, attack 6. Release 50, the rest nothing. Expander, you can take this, try this with my settings. If you like it, have it. If you don't like it, just mute it, basically. So, extender ratio 2, threshold 40, 10, 50, 0, and then RMS. I have a gain on my microphone, uh, it's up to you if you want to record yourself a bit and see if you find it's necessary. I have it on 6 decibels. And then I have a limiter, uh, threshold is minus 3, uh, 60. Uh, it depends also, I'm, if I go too loud, this is gonna let me not go over a certain number in a way, so play with it. And after that, that's my microphone usually. Uh, I use a HyperX Quadcast microphone also. So I have that on the first dot. And on the back side, uh, I have that heart shaped uh, icon. This looks like a butt a bit. So that's my settings. So let's go to the video part. Find settings and then general. I'm going to explain everything here. And uh, on th two things you maybe want to change is the language, maybe native language or English. The theme, uh, I recommend the dark one because it's 
it's just more pleasant for your eyes, mostly. Then have Steam. Uh, connect your Twitch. Uh, that's basically it. <laughs> output. You want to go to output mode, advanced, and streaming. Encoder. Uh, I'm using a NVIDIA encoder uh, because I have a 4080 health. But you should use the NVIDIA NVENC H.264. And it's the best one. And then 1920 by 1080. Encoder settings is the rate control, CBR means control bit rate, the constant bit rate, sorry. Bit rate depends also, uh, you want the best possible, it's 6000 kilobytes per second, 6000 bits, and that's mainly for 1080 60 FPS. If you are a bit lower than that, it's maybe 4000, is it 720p 60 FPS, maybe 4 or 5, so you can play with 4500 to 6000 maybe depends really on your internet your computer and stuff so but i have it on 6000 and it works well for me and i've always have it with all my computers but try it out uh, keyframe interval should should have two i don't really gonna explain what they do like that uh, preset i'm using p7 because i have like i said a 4080 tough so it's like a monster so i can do that if you don't have that and maybe a lower spec don't go under p5 because this is like this you need to try yourself trial and error right try it see how it is is it do the computer handle it good can you run all the games good and stuff like that so you need to test yourself but don't really go on under p5 if you have a real low PC spec, maybe P4. So something to think about. So a trial and error. Test your PC. What works well for you. Tuning, high quality. Uh, recommend for everyone. Multipass mode. Um, recommend full resolution. Um, if you have a low spec PC again, maybe do quarter resolution. If you have a potato, maybe single pass. But... Uh, don't go under quarter resolution. Profile, uh, high PC should be high. If you have a low spec, medium, but I recommend high. Look ahead, you should don't have that. Then you want to click in physical visual tuning. Uh, GPU, zero. And then max B frames, you want two. Then for the audio part of this, it's you want the audio bitrate 320. I've found no really big extreme difference between the bit rates, but why not take the highest if you can? So take that on all the tracks. And the rest recording and stuff we don't go through today. And the audio we have already checked in. The video, uh, this is I'm gonna explain this. So I'm using 1920 by 1080 uh, is my resolution. The base canvas is your monitor's resolution. Output scale resolution is what you are streaming out. So in my case, if I have a 1920 by 1080, I want the same out. If you want to downscale, we say your computer is not that good or not that high end, you maybe want to downscale it to 720p. So that, that's there you do it. And also, if you have a 1440p monitor, then you put base canvas 1440p, what your resolution is, and 1920 by 1080 or lower. Depends. If you have any question, let me know down in the comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like, right? The down filter, I cannot change this, I don't know why, after the update, but I can recommend Lanxos. It's the the one, uh, the best one of them. So just go with that. Common FPS values, you should, you should only have that. And then 60 FPS if you want a really good, really nice stream. If you have a really low P low spec PC, maybe a potato one. I don't like the word potato, but I'm going to use it today. Then you can do 30. Uh, but I can highly recommend 60. And the rest here, we don't really need to know. 
you can go to advanced process priority i have this on normal though but that's why i have a high end extreme high end with graphics card and stuff like that uh, but i can recommend above normal uh, i'm always really used to that render direct 3d 11 color format nv12 color spec rec 709 color range full and the rest here we don't really need to go into i think so i think that's it actually for this there you have it guys there's the stream settings and audio setting i'm using right now don't forget to tweak uh, maybe it doesn't really work perfectly for you so tweak 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 and find those perfect settings for you and of course if you liked it thumbs up give me a sub and give me a comment down below if i forgot something or you just loved it so that was everything for me matter out have a good day and see you in the next one